In both Ming and Qing dynasties, noble title wasn't automatically given to a prince. In Ming dynasty, there was only one noble title, Qin Wang, the first rank prince, for the son of the emperor. The emperor's son needn't to do anything. When he was 10 years old, usually he could be promoted to Qin Wang unless he was hated very much by the emperor. If the prince died too young, he could posthumously get the first rank prince title. For example, the emperor Guangzong had seven sons. When he became the emperor, only the oldest son and the fifth son still lived. Guangzong promoted his oldest son to crown prince and posthumously promoted his five dead sons to Qin Wang, but he didn't give his fifth son, Zhu Youjian, any noble title. Zhu Youjian did nothing wrong. He just was born by an imperial maid. Because Guangzhong's biological mother was an imperial maid and was hated by his father, which made Guangzhong have a horrible life. So, Guangzong really hated this son, who was born by the imperial maid. Zhu Youjie's first rank prince title was given by his older brother after his father passed away. In Qing dynasty, there are four ranks noble title for emperor's son, He Shuo Qin Wang, the prince of the first rank, Duo Luo Jun Wang, the prince of the second rank, Duo Luo Bei Le, the prince of the third rank, and Gu Shan Bei Zi, the prince of the fourth rank. The emperor's son must do something to earn noble titles, especially in early Qing dynasty. Qing founding emperor Huang Taiji had 11 sons, but only the oldest prince Hao Ge got first rank prince title because of his military contributions. The emperor Qianlong was the most generous on giving titles to his imperial women and the kids. In his 17 sons, only three of them got the first rank prince title from Qianlong. Qianlong's youngest son was born by the imperial noble consort Li, who managed the inner court after Qianlong's second empress was demoted. But this prince only got the third rank prince title. Qianlong didn't give his 12 son any noble title because this prince was born by the Empress Nala who cut her hairs for a no reason. In Ming Dynasty, the first rank prince title could be passed to next generation without degree. In Qing Dynasty, Except Iron Cap Prince, all other noble titles needed to be degraded one rank, then passed to next generation. For example, Qianlong's fifth son Yong Qi was Rong Qin Wang, the Prince Rong of the first rank, because this title wasn't an Iron Cap Prince title. Wan Yongqi's title passed to his son Mian Yi. Mian Yi only got the noble title Rong Jun Wang, the prince Rong of the second rank. But if the first generation had significant contributions to the country, they could pass their noble titles to the next generation as the same rank. This was called the Tie Mao Wang, 
Iron Cap Prince. Qing Dynasty existed 268 years. It only had ten Iron Cap first rank prince and two Iron Cap second rank prince. In Ming Dynasty, when the prince was about fifteen years old, he must leave the capital Beijing and stayed on his fair until he passed away. On the fifth, the prince didn't have right. To manage local affairs, without the emperor's permission, the prince couldn't leave his fief. Meanwhile, the emperor requested local government officers monitor the prince's behavior, just in case rebellion. So, Ming prince was more like prisoner living in an ivory jail. In Qing Dynasty, it's opposite. Without the emperor's permission, the prince wasn't allowed to leave Beijing. So today, if you have chance to visit Beijing, you will find there has many princes' palaces. The most famous one was the palace for the Prince Gong of the first rank. In Ming Dynasty. The prince had no chance to man- make decisions on state affairs, because they stayed far away from the emperor, and once they leave the capital, they had no chance to come back. In Qing Dynasty, the emperor encouraged his sons to take responsibilities in state affairs. So the prince could compete with his others, and got experience. Then, overall, Qing emperors were more qualified than Ming emperors. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.